end, it's come to ask yourself, how did my investments perform? That's especially true, though, in a year like 2020, where there was such extreme market volatility. The answer to this question, of course, is it depends. Here's two ways of looking at your performance. Number one, look at the performance of the fund relative to its benchmark or other similar funds in that asset class. This helps with evaluating any actively managed mutual funds that you might be invested in. With these types of investments, you're paying more than you would for an ETF or an index fund to have a manager pick the underlying holdings. The idea is that this extra cost is worth it, so long as the manager is outperforming the market average for that asset class. For some asset classes where markets are inefficient, there could be opportunities for that manager to outperform and outcompete, and therefore, active management makes sense. For other asset classes though, like large cap, you might find that managers have a hard time outperforming the market and therefore passive investment options like an index fund or an ETF might make sense. Number two is look at how your overall portfolio has performed over the years relative to your financial plan. When you build a financial plan, it looks at what investable assets you have to fund all future financial goals. Your plan then identifies what rate of return you need in order to utilize those assets to fund all those future expenses without running out of money. This rate of return can be used for you as a benchmark for evaluating your overall performance. For example, your plan might indicate that you require a 7% average rate of return on your assets to fund all your goals. Of course, every year you're not always going to get 7% on your rate of return. However, if over a one year, three year, five year, etc. basis, you're averaging 7%, then you know you're on track. In the end, your rate of return is just a number, so it's important to have a process for properly evaluating whether that number is actually good. Hopefully these two methods provide you with an approach for doing just that. We hope you enjoyed today's iThrive ideas. For more content like this, please visit our website at www.thrivewealth.com and subscribe to our blog.